guess I have some an observation I'd just love to ask your response about, and that's to start with maybe the relationship between X, Y, right. and timber. Well, I, I was thinking even farther back uh -huh. when when, um, when we uh, you know when when you were helping me with X, Y, and we worked together on X, Y, and um, I remember we met in some cafe or something, and right. I brought like you know I don't know if you remember this, oh, but yes. like pages and pages of this and you know you were n you not only went through it and, and that was very in influential but I think what, what what really kind of changed everything was that you helped me re-notate it you, uh -huh, know, right. you were suggesting you know this compression of notation and this the shorthand and all of a sudden that that uh, uh, things started to flow <laughs> When I started with um, with timber, I wanted to, you know, it was that um, that point between, um, you know, the, that one hand gets louder, one rhythm gets louder, and one rhythm gets softer, right. and it's kind of that mysterious point <coughs> in between where the rhythm, the pulse of the rhythm shifts. Right. And I started um, when I started timber, I sat there for a while, and I was trying to. I was going, okay, well, this is going to be the starting point. And I sat there, I sat there for, you know, a few weeks, and, and I was like, oh, you know, I, I, can't get, I can't do this, because if you have more than one, um, one person um, doing that, the, the pulse is going to get lost in that, average, mysteri yeah. Yes, yeah. in that mysterious, right. in that mysterious point. And then one morning I woke up and I was, oh, that, I'm, I'm an idiot. Of course, I can. I can do this. I just have to have w one hand has to keep the pulse. Yep. And then the other hand can do the, um, the shift. What about the material itself? So why, why timber? <laughs> I mean, I was I worked with the Dinhag people a little right. bit this summer, so I heard yeah, some uh, stories. But yes. you know, so what led you to wood? Well. Um, you know, that was a the wood was basically a happy accident. What you know, you know, very well that we grew up in this in this you know this world of these monster percussion yeah. pieces. You know where you know cyclists and you know yeah, all where every possible in instrument is on stage. Exactly. I gotta get all those instruments away. So it's just gonna be one instrument and. Um, couldn't find the instrument, right. you know, and so I, I just started writing the piece, and uh, I, uh, I had about I, I wrote the first, you know, couple of big chunks with just with this idea of high to low. It'll be something high to low, and I didn't want it to be drums, and I didn't want it to be metals, and I didn't want it to, to sound like percussion, in a certain sense. And I was working with um, with the Cypher of Den Haag and. <clears throat> I was like, this is what I, you know, this is this is it. I don't want it to be. Per I don't want it to sound like this. I don't want it to, you know. And F Fader, um, right. he's like, I got these uh, yeah. blocks of wood. So you know, it was, it was just like a lucky, you know, they were sitting basically on a warehouse, warehouse of instruments yeah. or something, and he was able to, you know, put, you know, put that together. And they brought up the the, the wood and started playing on it. And I was like, this, this is cool. Thank you.